Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter board game every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and tell you my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. Today, obviously, it's three uh, for a weird reason, but... Right now, I'm very excited to be talking about the Shadow Tactics, the board game, plus Solo Co-op Ronin Expansion, a tactical stealth game with secret action programming for one to six players. Uh, and the reason why I'm really excited to get into this one is because uh, a friend of mine posted on Facebook and he said, hey, if, if you're thinking about backing this Kickstarter, make sure you do your homework first. You know, kind of almost like a cryptic sort of thing. And so let's see what exactly they were referring to here but i do say from the outside i like it i get to see what the board looks like maybe zoom this in a little bit but uh, you're showing me a lot of stuff in the box one to six players uh secret action programming i like that and it's already funded so right now we're checking checking some good boxes right here all right so it's raised twenty six thousand dollars, three hundred thirty six backers and 11 days to go and there's the base game there's the expansion it now includes dice okay pretty straightforward uh so from budapest hungary Shadow Tech. Nope. Oh, wow. Six. The board game. Oof. Players one of the blades of the Shogun. Program your actions in secret. Infiltrate behind enemy lines and ambush at the perfect moment. Oh, that's cool. Distract guards to speak past them and see <laughs> Hey, pretty lady! Guard, come over to you! <laughs> so she distracts him. Like, that's great! Like, they just tied the theme to the gameplay very well there. That was, I thought that was great. When the moment of combat arrives, use the guard's limited vision to your advantage. The evil huh. That's really interesting how the miniatures fit into the board and can kind of maneuver around and be looking in different directions. It creates a really interesting line of sight style thing there. That was really cool. Four chapters, 20 missions. A lot of replayability. The Shogun dominates the daimyo. Shadow Tactics, the board game. Back now on Kickstarter. Alright, so, so far so good. I thought that was a pretty dang good video. Uh, so as always when I come into these, I think three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? And do I want it? You know, this this isn't necessarily a game that screams to me, but I think it does to a lot of people. And I think if you're the kind of person who likes this sort of uh, movement game with the little minis moving around, I think this probably is appealing to you pretty strongly right now. So I think they did a great job of that. Now, ooh, this is weird. What's Kickstarter? Create responsibilities. Being a backer. Is this a new Kickstarter feature right here? We ask, I think that is. I don't think that's them. I think that's Kickstarter. Okay, interesting enough. So then, this is the thing that I always recommend checking out, and that is you look at what they've created before. Five created, 14 backs. Now, Antler Games is an indie board game publisher from Hungary. Our first project was Saitlands, a desert post-apocalyptic game, and after Critters Blow, now we are presenting our third game, Shadow Tactics. So they're essentially saying, hey, we know how to make games. We've made games before. Feel comfortable making games with us. I see two collaborators on there. Awesome, because running a comments and update section by yourself is it's a lot of work. So, check it out. Let's go check out the check record. So, the original board game right here. And this was brought to life. Okay, so this was successfully funded. Make sure it's not a flaming dumpster fire in the comments. 722 comments. Ooh, okay. 722 comments with 893 backers. 52 updates. All right. What, what is going on here? Sorry, I backed the original Kickstarter at Samurai Pledge level plus Tanaki add-on. Will that mean I will also get the third? Okay, so in my first pledge, I have Samurai plus... Th so there's some confusion. Uh, a late pledge. Okay, not English. Okay, I saw a lot of info in the last few weeks for a new campaign for the same game. But after two years of waiting, do you have some news about the actual progress in this game? Wait, is this not shipping? I think is the issue here. Sure, there were, there were a lot of info about this two in the previous updates tell me they're not backer only don't do it to me okay awesome 
Late pledge campaign is live. So what is a late pledge campaign? It's good to delete an app every once in a while. Cool. I don't want to. What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you tell? Don't don't tell me what to do on my own stream. All right. Uh, so oh, okay. So here's the update. A uh, very short but important update. The late pledge campaign is live now. What is a late pledge campaign? No, this is the wh wh the this late pledge campaign is the new campaign. Um, what? It's good. I have a question, teacher. What? What the hell? Uh, so. They're paying for their old game with their new game, which is the same game. How is that cool, Kickstarter? Um, so this is something that has happened before. This is not a first. Uh, this is not shocking, unfortunately. Uh, if you want to look at uh, one of the ones that comes to my brain is Fifth Street Games. And I actually did some Kickstarter videos for them, and I enjoyed some of their games. Uh, but from what I've heard around the band is that pretty much uh, at some point when they were making games, they made quite a few games, they got to the point where it was like, oh, we can't afford to ship this game out to people. What are we going to do? Well, we'll just pay the shipping on the next Kickstarter. And then they would get to the next Kickstarter, and they'd be like, oh, hopefully we'll sell enough copies of the first game in order to ship out the second game. And if that doesn't happen, well, then we'll just launch a third game, and then we'll take the money from the third game to ship out the second game. But then what happens is if one domino does not fall the correct way, well, then you you, you got a lot of bad stuff going on. So this is, they're very open and honest about this. This is, this is, this is, uh, people just seem to be cool about this. Why? I'm very surprised the comment section is not a flaming dumpster fire, to be honest with you. Uh, we can, you can check out the new products. Get what you missed. Uh, uh, okay, that's that's it. So that's that's the big that's the big reveal. <laughs> Let's. I'll check out critters below too. Uh, make sure this isn't a huge deal. Two hundred thirty nine. No. So this is this is probably gonna be regular. Shadow taxes is coming up. Hi, I got my copy in November, but only got the time to play today. Unfortunately, Cap has some issues. My copy has never arrived. Uh, I have to say it, I'm still waiting for my game. Happy shops have dropped the ball on so many Kickstarter fulfillments over the holidays. So many screw-ups. Uh-oh. Uh, collector's edition people are able to get everything in the can. Uh, he can't fit everything in the can. My poppy, my copy still had didn't arrive. My copy arrived yesterday. Okay. So, uh, so we got some mixed situations here. Like, there's a lot of bad, but it's not like a huge amount of bad. I think this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is something you might want to know about before you back the new product. But it's I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. There's nothing shady here. But that, wow, that's weird. Uh, late pledge campaign. So, let, let, okay, so we now, the elephant's out. Let's talk about the Kickstarter campaign itself and see how it's being run. All right, so Shadow Tactics, the board game. So that answers the question, can you do it? The answer is yes. Uh, you've done it before. You've made games before. And in theory, this is hopefully just going to be one little screw-up. And then the question is, how hard should we punish this company for making whatever mistake they made along the line? And that is how you decide with your wallet. But that's why I make this video. So now hopefully you can you can look into this and say, okay, they made a mistake. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here to bail them out because I really like Shadow Tactics and I think it looks cool. Or you say, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. I would rather support a company who I think is uh, not making those kind of mistakes so the cream will rise to the top. I mean, who knows? For me personally, uh, I, you know, I I used to back one Kickstarter a year. And one year, my Kickstarter got completely jacked up, and I didn't ever get a game, and I still haven't got the game, and then I just soured it on me. Right. But anywho, Shadow Tactics. The new Shogun seized power over Japan, bringing peace to the land. However, harmony is a fragile concept. I am a barbado. I don't know what that means. So to silence the voice of conspiracy and stop the fearsome warlords Kagasama, the Shogun recruits a few remarkable individuals who specialize in deception, assassination, and sabotage. So you're sending your people there, and, uh, okay. So two to six players. So that's how they get uh, around the Kickstarter rule. Because normally, I'm pretty sure you have to ship your last product before you're allowed to do your next product. And so what I think they're saying is, they're not saying, they're saying, we're this isn't just Shadow Tactics, it's the new expansion, and that's why Kickstarter is letting them do it, because this is the new expansion, and you can also buy the first version of the game, which wasn't released. I don't know, it's so confusing. Based on the acclaimed video game, Shadow Tactics is a tactical stealth game for two to six players, one to five in cooperative mode. Had my fill of sketch, let's spend our stream on another company. Yep, I, I think that's what a lot of people are going to go. I definitely agree with that. Uh, game highlights, unique stealth interpretation. 
Because, like, I mean, like I said, this game looks cool. But to me, it doesn't look so mind-blowing that I'd be willing to take the risk. Uh, Vision-based combat. Vision, so cool. You know, you see stuff. Color-coded movement. So let's get back into the game mode. So I, I am looking at this perspective. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? So let's go into this saying, yes, I do want it. I do like it. Because maybe I'm big into this style of game. Uh, so now I want to know, how much is it? And you still have not got to that. So I'd like to see a price Oh, wait, did you, did you get to the price? I'm so distracted by everything else. I don't think you did. Oh, wait, no, you had it in the video, didn't you? I could have swore. I saw a picture, an image. There it is. Nope, no, 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 they didn't have the price. Dang it, give me the price. So now I go look for the price. I don't want to go over to the right side. I will probably go to the right side because they're going to make me go. Uh, but how to play video. Awesome. Is it a full how to play video? Welcome, everyone. Let's see. Now let's take a look at the board. Board overview... Is it, if this is an actual legit how to play, which it looks like it might be at 9 minutes and 44 seconds, potentially, uh, that's great. Glad to see that spotlighted. I think not enough companies do that. If you have a good how to play video, bump it to the top. Bump it to the top. Give people that nice warm security blanket. 15 pages. Wow, that looks good. That looks good. Look at that. That looks great. So let, me, let me see some pictures, illustrations, examples. Yeah. This looks like a rule booklet. I think I'd be excited to read if I was excited about this game. I really do. It looks pretty solid. Looks like a solid rule booklet. All right, that's nice. The rule booklet is whip. It's almost final. Click here to read the mission booklet. Awesome playthrough video. Excellent. You got a dice tower playthrough. That's awesome. Two player full gameplay. So they're paying some money for some videos. Great. What's in the box? So they got everything in the box. Uh, okay. Ooh, here we go. I'd like to know what size these are. Make it make it more obvious what size these are. That always annoys me when I go to a, a, a miniatures game thing, and it's it's not obvious the size of the minis, even if they're not that big. Like it's still like a, a comparison next to a card or something. Uh, so we got everything in the game. Samurai content. So this is the expansion. Is this the expansion? Is that what I'm getting? This is the Asaguru content. What does that mean? <laughs> Versus the samurai content. Uh, you you maybe I don't know what that means. I would make that clear. I would totally make that clear, because is that I'm assuming this is the expansion, the one to five player expansion is the samurai content, but I don't, I don't feel like it's obvious. Kickstarter exclusive, fifteen metal coins, uh, Revenge of Kami Saga chapter, cool, uh, Spearman the Great. So this is all the Kickstarter stuff unlocked. Great Kickstarter, and then we get to the price. Base game, uh, fifty nine euros. I do believe that is pounds. I apologize. Someone's going to tell me in the comments. Uh, they always do. <laughs> I always feel bad. And, uh, what is that in dollars? Let me figure that out. Uh, 14, add-on for returning backers. Back at the level, only if you want to back the original campaign. Whoa, no, this is where things get confusing, isn't it? Okay. So this is an add-on, only for returning backers. So if you back the first thing, and you're hoping this funds so you can get your original game, because if it doesn't, you're not going to get your original game, most likely. Back at this level, only if you backed the original campaign for any physical product and want to upgrade your pledge level and or pledge for add-ons. $5 credit for the linen bag would insert... Uh, okay, so this is with the want to get some cool new stuff. Clear. Good. You have to have that, right? I mean, you do. Uh, Ashiguru. So this is the copy of the game. 10 backers, which means everybody's getting the base game plus the expansion. Or is there something even bigger? So yes, is this the base game plus the expansion? Samurai Asaguru. There it is. There it is. So this is the picture. So I would. I, so here is what I would do right there, is I would say so you got samurai content here, and you know how you got samurai content here. So the base game plus the six. So say samurai content, base game plus expansion, and Asaguru base game. I, I think just that little added addition would make it much cleaner and clearer for people who are trying to do their shopping here. I don't doubt the company has great intentions, enjoy old game, but having to domino their uh, finance tactics isn't a comfortable model. I agree, Stephen. I absolutely agree, uh, because here's the thing. There's so many other companies that are fighting for your attention who aren't doing that. And if a company has a track record, potentially, of making mistakes, you know, who's to say that another mistake isn't going to derail the game again? And, and I get it. I mean, but here's, looking at it from their perspective, it's like, ah, we're trying. Like, we're trying. And I got to say, they're making the best out of a bad situation here. And I, I, I can appreciate that. They're pretty upfront about it uh, on the previous section. <laughs> Not so much here, which I understand why. Because <laughs> from a marketing perspective, you don't want to be. 
But this this looks solid. This looks solid. Ronin, everything in the Samurai Pledge, plus the Ronin Solo Cola. Wait, wait, there's another expansion? So the Samurai Base Game, plus the expansion, plus this. Okay, now we're getting a little confusy. Okay, so this is probably going to be the big one. Then the Ronin, which is the everything, which is, yes, indeed. No, it's 135. What is that? Then there's the all-in. Jesus Christ. Why do you got so much stupid stuff? All right. Okay, uh, but this is the returning backer. Okay, so you put that on the bottom. Wait, where's the all-in? Did I miss the all-in? Is this the all-in? No, this is the Ronin. What's the Ronin? Then where's the all-in? What the hell is this? I want to see what you're... Wait, is this the all-in? No. Okay. Everything in the Samurai Pledge plus the Ronin Solo Co-ops. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't it... What? What? The Ronin's... It's, the Ronin's not... The Ronin... What is the Ronin? Everything in the Samurai Pledge plus the Ronin Solo... What? So this is the Ronin plus the Solo Expansion plus the other expansion. Isn't that everything? Or is there something I'm missing? Why, why, why is there this extra, I, I, I don't know, get it, I don't get it, it's in zero people have it, zero people get it, there you go, that's the price, the, 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 it's in the pudding there, zero people get it as well, uh, okay, are you a returning backer, if you were an original backer from our first campaign and pledged for everything you wanted back then, uh, you were all set, your order still holds, products pledged during the original and or this campaign will be shipped together, the final version of Shadow Taxes board game is what you can see on this campaign page, you will receive the same product regardless during the campaign you pledged it, okay, and no further shipping costs applied, uh, okay, what is the shipping, did you give me the shipping, is it one of these ones where I can see the shipping in here, <gasps> that's so, no it's not, I love when you can do that, uh, alright, so what do we got add-ons, so, oh you didn't tell me about the shipping, I want the shipping. All right, so we'll get to the shipping in a second. Add-ons, cool. Good stuff. Structures. What is this? Oh, these are more add-ons. Oh, oh, so those are minis you have to buy. Those are really cool, though, but okay. that's That stinks. Uh, linen printed bag. Wow, they're cool with hard on the add-ons. Very hard on the add-ons. And that is, that's something that scares me even more. Like, this is their attempt to get back on track, and it's like they're adding lots of additional moving parts that could potentially go wrong. And that scares me. As someone who has had one of those go wrong, a stretch goal go wrong, the only time I did a game, a stretch goal, oh, it was such, a, it was such a, oh, I hate stretch goals. <laughs> Doing stretch goals. And add-ons are the same way. And then we got the laser cut wooden insert. Whoa. There is, oh, there's a lot of mouths to feed right now with all these add-ons. And it just, it just scares me. It scares me. Then we got the Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shodan video game. It was why not? We're just getting everything. For new backers, what is this? This is... Oh, this is nice. This is for new backers. When you pledge, simply increase the pledge for the sum of the product you choose. Oh, okay. So they showed you how to do the add-ons. All right. I don't mind this. This is great. I actually like that. Now we're talking about the expansion. Oh, hey. By the way, you know that thing we've been trying to sell you? <laughs> And we've shown you all the prices for it. Now you should go, oh, here, we're actually going to give you information about it. Wow. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Normally, normally I see people post the stuff about it first. <clears throat> but, you know what? I kind of like getting to the price first, to be honest with you. Solo adventure mode. So now they're finally telling you about it. Wow, if you really want to know, go all the way to the bottom. Ooh, rules and how to play. Hello and welcome, everyone. I'm David, and in this video, we'll be for one movement point. And okay. Two Awesome. And I love this. I love this. I say this to companies all the time. You can make your own videos. Like, they don't have to look spectacular. As long as you get across the rules of your game, which, to be quite frank, nobody knows the rules to your game better than you. Uh, like, people, every time I see a, a game video done by someone who made the game, it just, most of the time, they turn out really stinking well. And so I just, I love when I see that. Click here to read the rule book, four-player cooperative, okay... Then we got another expansion. Wow, there, there's so much stuff here. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this Kickstarter. Like, I definitely think that the way they're trying to make right is a good direction to go. And if you look at it from that perspective, what would you do? Like, how do you even... Like, because you can't go in the past. Like, we, you could ha hit him over the hammer and say, you should have done it, should have done it, should have done it. But the bottom line is, they can't undo it. So now it comes, what do they do to try and fix it? How do they, how do they make that turn? And I think what they're doing is good. 
it does worry me though with just so many add-ons it's so much extra stuff that you're reaching for so much like like so, i bet you a lot they played a lot on videos like this is a lot on videos and molds and uh, just all right, so what do we got? We got quotes. It's all about trying to maneuver and outfake your opponents. It's very asymmetric. The first impressions are fantastic. Uh, I don't like that quote. It, it, it doesn't get me excited for the game. Shipping. Oh, cool. Finally, we got the shipping. Why can't we have the shipping next to the, the shopping part? All right, I want to know the full price. <laughs> Give me that. All right, so what do we got? Uh, so you're offering to places. We offer custom to other countries. We ship track packages, but we cannot be held responsible for customs inspections and fees. Ouch. Shipping fees will be collected via the pledge manager. Don't increase your pledge with that amount. Shipping prices. Okay. Budapest. Free. <laughs> cool. Germany. Macedonia. So this is what I don't like. I don't like this right here. And I don't like it when Americans do it. I don't like when Hungarians do it. So I'm not saying that like that. It's just make it the right currency. Like, figure out what uh, UK, how much that should be converted to their currency. And same with the United States of America. How 13 of this currency to our currency, just put it there. You know, how much to Canada? How much to Australia? It literally takes you less than five minutes to put this in. Because this is just text. It's not like it's some fancy graphic or anything. It's just, yeah, like, what is 16 of this currency to Canadian dollars? 22 Canadian. Bam. You're done. And now you've just made it easier for your Canadian backers. Like, little things like that go a long way. And if you're trying to build good faith, no better way to, do Gilbo, to build good faith by doing little things like that. Because I really am trying to think at it from their perspective. Like, how would I do this? If they were like, hey, do our PR! I'd be like, okay, what do we do? Uh, the Bell Ship Tracing your estimates. Awesome! Yes, I might. I would actually mention that before. I mentioned that at the top. Hey, these are our estimates of what they should be. Obviously, stuff is crazy. Uh, but we thought we'd want to give you a ballpark range so we're not going to get any sticker shock somewhere along the line. But I would put that a little bit higher. Reminder for returning backers. No stretch goals. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to see that. Normally I always say stretch goals. you got to have stretch goals or something. With, with your specific situation, I think stretch goals. Uh, good call. So it's now in its final form. We want to start a production right after the campaign ends so that we can deliver to backers as soon as possible. For this reason, we didn't want to add any more stretch goals. Cool. Pledge manager. Crowd ox. Project timeline whatevs about us risks and challenges okay let's go check out the updates and the comments faq lots on the faq what about the original campaign do i have to pledge again this is a uh, where can i fit in the wood insert how do i know if i'm returning back or well okay this seems pretty good no group pledge level at this time will the production be okay so this is solid solid faq it looks like they were taking some questions from their last campaign and from this campaign putting it in there like it New full playthrough. Let's see what the engagement is. So we got four hearts, no comments, and 17 hearts, seven comments. Awesome. And let's see. I bet you did not end with a question on this. Always end with a question. Always end with a question. Uh, let me know in the comments below what question you would end with. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> engagement. We hope it becomes less confusing now. Thank you for your support. Stay awesome. So you're just trying to explain everything, which is great. You're trying to make it. And I do. I love the amount of transparency I'm seeing here. I absolutely do, because I think in this style of situation, you got to be transparent. Not super transparent. Like, you don't want to be like, hey, check this out, everybody! <laughs> we, but you want to, I mean, you want to make it known that if someone wanted to know more, they could easily find out more. And you seem to be pretty transparent, which I appreciate. And I think most people do. Uh, which is why it's funded, which is awesome. So, four people like this update, I would end it with a question. I hope you do, because that's how you get engagement, and that's how you get kicked to the higher uh, of the Kickstarter algorithms. Let's see what the 17 are. We are happy to have you have returning the backers now alike. Thank you and for your support. Oh, and you're showing how it's... Ooh, what is this? Oh, oh, this is nice. This is good. Maybe some sound? Man, that looks like an absolute beast to put away. I would hate to put that game away. I would absolutely hate to put that game away. But that's still a nice video. That still shows me that, yes, uh, I, I, you can do it. And I hope you include a piece of paper. Maybe make that, uh, ooh, well, I hope you include a piece of paper that shows people exactly how to do it, like uh, Stonemeyer Game does. Because I think that is just essential, when especially when you're asking people to be that laser-specific focused on where they put things. So let's check it out. Uh, wow. <clears throat> 
Okay, thank you. That didn't answer my question. I'm already at the... So this is just a bunch of questions about the pledge levels. How final is the wooden organizer? Well, it works for storing. It doesn't look like it eases setup of the game. No. The two boxes with tokens are just part of the top element and cannot be removed from it. If they were separate boxes, they would be put on and cannot be removed from it. So let's see the response. The wooden organizer has a separate... Uh, this is great feedback and a good suggestion. Wow. Awesome. So they look on point on the customer service here. That's really what I was trying to check at. Yeah. So, and this is what I say, and I say it every time, and if you watch this channel, you know I do it. Have yourself a collaborator in the comments, and bingo, look at this. Look how good this looks. Let's go to the top, and just, just from a quick scroll through, let's take a look. Oh, wait, this is the updates. Never mind. We're looking at the comments. Beep. But it still looks really good when I, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, not as much now, because we got a bunch of unanswered stuff, but, but still, different time difference, 10 hours. Okay, so we got. So let's see. They'll get to these eventually. Uh, hi guys, I'm really excited about this project. It's the mission booklet finished. Uh, more, uh, different language. Hmm, backers from the undelivered campaign from over two years ago are returning, with a potential three years of waiting and paying the same as backers from now. Shows that this game could be really interesting. Oh, so they're saying, wow, you know, these people are not even. They're not like rioting like pitchforks. They're like, hey. We believe in this game so strongly that we're here and we want to see it happen and we understand mistakes happen. And that's a great way to look at it. That's an amazing outlook to have on life. Thank you and Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there a picture of video of the structures of the map game board? Just curious how they will look during actual gameplay. Uh, yeah, wouldn't that be... I imagine there would be videos of that, uh, the gameplay videos. But that's the little things you got to answer right here. But let's keep going. Make sure you are active, creator, collaborator. Nope. No collaborator in here. Oh, yeah, it is. Collaborator. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. When you see a comment section that looks like this, where you're constantly seeing those greens or those light greens pop up, it just gives you a nice warm security blanket. So it looks like they are on point in this customer service thing. And in the end, what do I give this one? Do I give it a two for the whale? No, because I don't know what the hell the whale is. <laughs> Remember? No one knows what the whale is, which is why no one has taken the whale. <laughs> so, no, I can't recommend a two. And also, uh, so I'm going to give it a one. And I'm going to give it a tepid one and say, you know, take the information and say, do you think, do you, it, that's really a you kind of thing. But other than that, do I think the game is actually going to come out? Yeah, I do. I really do. I think there's a lot of excitement about it. And I think that they are showing that they want, uh, they want to continue making games. And they want to, this to be just a, you know, a black eye that eventually heals. And, you know, maybe two, three, four Kickstarters down the line, they're a great success story. And a really inspiring story to see how, you know, just because you make a mistake doesn't mean it's the end. I don't know. But, still, I'm giving it a one. If you enjoyed what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That's the word I was looking for.